Look at that, look at that. Sir, oh, what's that? Yes, look at that. Look at that run. Damn, he is actually really big. Look at the size of that tail. Yes, that's a good fish. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh man, he's burning my thumb. This is a race against time. That's my enemy right there, coming over the horizon. But they are feeding. They are feeding in numbers. I'm seeing tails breaking the surface of the water all over the place down there. I don't think we might need that much time at all. All right, you can already see the gnats out here are just the worst. Let's get the spinning set up out there first. Oof, look at that. Get the spinning set up out there first. We're gonna go with about five feet of um, length to the knot there. Let's get it out there. You guys can see I brought an extra pair of clothes. The landing for this video is gonna be something else. Oh my God, I'm already sinking right here. That should do. Circle hook. Much better, got it right in the middle. That's good. This is gonna be really interesting. <laughs> this massive mud field is soft. Like you're gonna, you're gonna sink into it. Any attempt to go out there to land a fish is gonna leave us covered in mud. Trying to keep this line a bit higher, keep it out of the mud. It's proving very difficult. Okay, this that was a decent fish. I mean, he's like four and a half feet long, maybe. Wouldn't say no to that, but this fish either dropped the bait or is moving towards us. Hard to tell which at the moment. Holding the rod up in the air to keep that line out of the mud. I feel like he's still coming towards us though. Yes, that is absolutely a fish. Real close to the bank. Too close to the bank, in fact. Look at that. Oh, he swam right up to the bank without realizing it. He's literally skirting the bank. There he goes. All right. This is an interesting fight because he's hanging out right on the edge of the water. I did not expect that. He's not gigantic, Ooh. but he's a decent, respectable sized fish. So, hang on a second. Turn the drag down for this bit, obviously. He's beached him, so there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There he goes, look at that. Look at that run. Oh. Nice, okay, nice. Now here's what I'd like to do. I feel like this is a pretty solid hook set and he's not really taking us in, in, into the danger zone yet. I say yet, because I can always surprise you. I would like to go down there with just the rope and the pliers to unhook him. Nothing more. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Pliers, rope. camera all right we're gonna race now he may not be uh he may not be too big to just land with the line oh my god we're sinking 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 oh now we're getting deep in it oh uh, we're going up to the shins now look at that oh god hello beautiful you stay there don't go anywhere. He's hooked right, wow, look at that, look at that, look at that. He's hooked right in the jawline. 
He's hooked right on the jawline. Let me show you guys this. I'm actually gonna pull him up with just this to show something to you. Beautiful, actually this is perfect. This couldn't be better. I mean, he could weigh 250 pounds better, but for what we have, this is ideal. All right, hang on. The bail open. Let me show you guys something. Check this out. Ooh, look, underneath, right there, circle hook. Oh, I'm actually gonna just pop this out with my hands. Watch this. Do not try this at home. But when you, uh, when you use the modified circle hook method that I champion, you can say goodbye to prying mouths open. There we go. Hooks out. Say goodbye to prying mouths open and sticking pliers down fish's throats. No need for that nonsense. The camera is sinking in the mud when I do this. Look at this. Alligator gar soup. Gorge. Oh. Gorgeous fish, yeah. All right, can you guys see on the main camera? Chest cam, yeah. All right, let's get him back. Ugh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm falling. God damn it. Ha, ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> look at that. Okay. I almost lost my pliers in the mud. I just saw the blue tip sink, uh, sticking out on the handle. But uh, circle hook for the win on that, yeah? Otherwise, you'd be trying to pin that sucker down in the three feet of mud. Trying to wrestle a hook out of his mouth. Oh my god. <sighs> circle hook all day keep these on for protection from the alligator gar scales and from these gnats but if this uh whew, muddy soup gets into the reel <laughs> ah swallowed a gnat it'll jam up the reel oh yeah look at that perfect timing yeah okay let me check yeah that should be all right 25 percent battery life left you think we guys can, uh, you think we can hook and land this fish with 25% battery? <laughs> it will be a challenge. This one feels good. Try to lift that line out of the mud. You can feel it in the mud. It's so gross. I don't want to say gross, but it's definitely not uh, friendly to catching these fish. Or maybe it is, you know, from a strategic standpoint, maybe this, uh, these conditions are obviously what drew them here, but makes this part harder. So yeah, you can see he's gone to the left with this bait. We're finding the fish right now. If he takes off, I'm going to lower the rod and hit the, the drag completely off. He might have dropped it. It's hard to tell. Hang on. I think he's still there. I think he's still there. I think he's just... We're on to something. Oh yeah, he's, he's moving. Turn the drag down a bit. There is the first. Yes. There he is. I knew he was on. This is a good one. Yeah, he's, he's good. All right, we're probably gonna try to do the same routine. I took a bit of a chance doing this with 25% camera life. Oh, this is a better fish too. Of course he is. Of course he is. Just not rush it. It's definitely a heavier animal. I can guarantee that. Yeah, see, he's pulling. Mm, wow, 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 wow. Well, he is definitely pulling more drag. He's changing directions. He's moving faster. There he goes. Ooh, big run, big run. 
All right, so he's still going. Try to just put a little bit of pressure on with my thumb. Damn, he is actually really big. He's still going, holy crap. This is a much bigger fish than I anticipated. I saw one surface out there that was at least six feet long minimum, well over hundred pounds. It could be a fish like that. It could be that fish. The fish I saw was very big. Just gonna, oh, I see his wake. I see his wake. Yes, that's a good fish. You see that big splash down there? This fish is going, man. Look at that. 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 I want to try to get this one in. That's my battery life on this GoPro. 18%. So, yeah, it's getting low. This camera might legitimately die on me. The other one's going, though. All right, you stop running. Stop. This is, this is silly. Just need you... Just needs you to come in peacefully. It's like they say in all the westerns, you coming in peacefully. Oh man, he's burning my thumb. So I wear those gloves, but I can't get that mud in this reel if I want this reel to function. I would rather go home with no skin on my thumb having caught this fish. Everyone out there who fishes understands the sacrifice to do that. Like the, it sucks to, you know, have all the skin burned off your thumb, but when you have a big fish on the end, you know it's worth it. Okay, he's banking himself on purpose. I don't like that. He's smart. He's sticking his nose in the mud is what he's doing. So I'm trying to pull him up over a lip and he's putting his nose down in the mud so that I'm fighting both him and the bank. Okay, where's the stupid pliers? There they are. All right, so we're gonna go down there to finish this, I think, capable. He seems to have found a snag. Let's try to work him out of the snag and maybe he'll swim our way. Key to working fish out of a snag, yep, just do exactly what I just did. You don't force them, you give them just enough room to make them think they're gonna run and they get out on their own. You never force a fish out of a snag, you, uh, you trick them out. And of course, I'm talking freshwater. I don't know if maybe you deep sea fish, if it's a different philosophy, but for these big freshwater gar, oh my God, look at him go. He's a good sized fish. For these big freshwater fish, you trick him out of a snag. You don't force him. All right, he is intentionally trying to beach himself. Damn, he's a, he's a very big fish. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Hang on a second. <coughs> Just swallowed a fucking gnat. God damn. Just got the rod between the legs here. gonna switch the battery out I'm switching the battery out while fighting this fish and trying not to ruin my GoPro with mud there we go get that one out get that one in and it's on come on come on come on too much mud on the lens 27 minutes of footage left, but we need, don't need that much footage. <laughs> we need about 10 good minutes. All right, close this. I don't uh, ruin all my GoPro batteries or have them stolen. He's beached himself, he's in the mud. I'm not uh, actually fighting the fish right now. I'm just keeping check on him. Okay. Whew. Here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put these in my pocket. I'm gonna put this up here in my rod hand so you guys are gonna have a weird view. Ah, no, no, he's making it go for it, damn it. Thought we had him in position to, to get him. He's trying to make a run for it. I'll put this around my neck. So this is how we're going down there, yeah? He's, st he's in position to be landed. This mud is making it very hard to hold this outfit.
I'm reeling with my camera hand. There he is. All right, come here, you beautiful. Come here, beautiful. I see you. I see you. There he is. Right there. <laughs> there he is. He's a good size fish, man. Very good size fish. Now we're not gonna be able to pull the same trick. I have um, really just one chance, I think, to make this landing work. No, no, no. What's happening? What's happening? Oh no, the reel broke. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, 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 stop. The reel broke. The fucking reel broke. Oh my god. The reel broke. Fish now. I broke my reel. Holy shit, the reel broke. Don't, 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 please. Ah. I'm getting too tired for this, please. I gotta be so careful not to wrap my hand around the line. If this fish pulls me in with this line wrapped around my hand, there we go. I want that braid. It will drown me. I don't see a chance. Look at that. Oh, I'm in my knees of mud here, but look, look at the circle. Oh. Look at the circle hook set. Look at that. Look at that. That. 100%. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. You could not do this with a 100 pound alligator gar deep hooked with a single or God forbid a treble if you're that archaic and cruel. Circle hook out. Just my fingers on the edge of his mouth because that is how we do it. Circle hooks for the win for alligator gar. Tear from a tackle, you guys. That's where I sell the, the alligator gar rigs that I make with circle hooks, specially designed for these animals, because not just any circle hook will do. They have to be specially modified, and nobody knows how to do that better than me and Spencer, who makes them and sells them for me, or with me. All right, let's make sure these are behind the pecs. There we go, I don't want this in his gills. All right, all right, all right. It's amazing how much of a tank you can move when it's just through soup. Alright, this piece of shit's done for. Beautiful rod. Screw that reel. <laughs> At least we still caught the fish. I'm gonna have to change this camera angle so you can see the fish in the light. Ugh! He's big. I feel like Quint. Son of a bitch. Come here. Oh my god. Okay, so. Nice alligator gar, yeah? <laughs> Look at the size of it, man. Covered in mud. Almost unrecognizable except for the shape of him and the size of him. I want to get his whole body on camera, but even with a rope, I'm losing my grip on this fish. I normally try to pull them up over my knees, but having trouble doing much of anything in here. <laughs> get that off your face, buddy. All right. Big guard. This is close to 80, 90 pounds. I'm gonna say he's cracking 100. He's very close anyway. Dragon of an animal, yeah? <laughs> I can't get his head and his tail in the same shot because he's too big to lift both my arms out straight. Beautiful animal though, he's been out long enough. Long enough. Let's get him back. That's what it takes to catch these animals. You gotta be willing to get a little dirty. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stand up. <clears throat> Look at the size of him. Look at the size of this fish. All right, let's get him back. Oh, this is qu uh, quite the interesting release. Right, let's get him back in the water. Look at the size of that tail. Incredible. Butt covered in mud. Let's get him back in the water. Oh, look at that dragon go. Oh my God, look at that dragon go. And he's off. Really great fish. I'm so glad we caught that. I'm so glad I brought an extra pair of clothes. Normally I'd be upset that this reel was in the mud, but it broke. So the gears broke. 
Now, you could say, take your shoes off. Just wade barefoot through this mud. But people party and drink out here all the time and they leave glass. And that is not a chance I'm taking. I know somebody who had a glass bottle go right through their boot, up into their heel, like into their heel, bone deep and all that. So yeah, keep my shoes on. People ask me all the time how I always catch those big fish. And the secret is quite simple, really. Obviously, knowledge, dedication, practice, patience, luck, being willing only to show when you catch something, not when you don't. So it looks like you always catch fish. And being willing to get a little dirty. All right. If you want your own circle hook rig for alligator gar so that you can catch and release giant fish like that without digging around their throat for a J hook, see my modified circle hook setup on Terraform Tackle. The link is in the description. Woo, that was hard work. <laughs> you too, with proper training, can set a circle hook in the corner of an alligator gar. It's a myth that it can't be done. It just has to be done a certain way. And I think I've cracked that code and you can start cracking the code yourself by buying those rigs from Terraforma Tackle. They're not just normal circle hooks, they're modified for those fish by me. So check those out. Check out the Patreon if you wanna support the channel. If you want all my best fishing spots, including this one and how to fish them, support us there. The link is in the description. And if you wanna learn how to use circle hooks on alligator gar, check out this video right here. Uh, this video is all about how to catch alligator gar, including proper hook set for circle hooks. All right, more is coming. Stay tuned. Let me know what you guys want to see more of, and I'll catch you guys later. Now I got to go home in this.